you're probably in a lot of pain right now uh, it probably really hurts uh, it's called heartbreak uh, from a breakup uh, because it, it actually does it's been scientifically proven I believe fact check me in the comments that it does hurt your heart when you have heartbreak it is a physical issue it is a physical injury uh, that you are going through right now and uh, from my experience uh, in dating, dating many people, um, uh, these are the three things that helped me the most. One, think about only the positives about her and the relationship. Now, one thing that does make me quite sick is when I hear about men that dated a woman for a long time or uh, just had a divorce and then they're like, oh, she was a psycho, she was a narcissist, she was this, she was that, she took my money, she's such an evil, bad person. It makes me sick to hear that because all I'm hearing is you have poor choice in women and you do not take responsibility for yourself. Now, uh, all of the breakups that I've had except for maybe one, I was 17, it's not really counted. Uh, uh, have been with girls that I would deem to be awesome. Awesome girls. Uh, and there were so many positives about the girl, the relationship, and even the breakup. Now, if you're going to sit there and blame her for everything, you really need to have a close look at yourself because uh, your choice is the problem or your lack of options or your insecurities or something along those lines is the issue and I think focusing on the negatives is only going to hurt you in the long term I think you need to be focusing on the positives of the relationship and why you were with her in the first place things go wrong in life uh, and uh, unfortunately um, you know even if she has done something wrong she might have been still the right person so try to focus on the positives I know it's going to be difficult but if you focus on the positives uh, it will help you uh, get out of this faster trust me on this one now the second part is try to avoid anything that reminds you of the relationship now uh, there'll be a lot of things that will remind you like doing things that you guys used to do together Let's just say you used to eat a type of food or you used to do a sport together, you used to go shopping together, you used to um, eat a specific food, you liked salami or something, or you, uh, uh, you played video games together at home or you watched specific TV shows or movies or whatever together. Now, if you can avoid that, then it will help you to avoid uh, remembering everything about her all the time uh, another thing to avoid would be music <laughs> avoid music at all costs uh, especially romantic music or love songs etc because all it's going to do is remind you of her and make you feel sad you if you're going through a painful period the last thing you need to do is to be uh, being reminded of her all the time so one think about the positives in the relationship and you need to try to avoid thinking of uh, uh, having things trigger memories of you guys together music hobbies things that you use, you guys used to do together uh, you need to try and get that out of your um, you need to try to uh, um, Try to try to forget as much as possible. The and then the third one I'd say is keeping yourself busy. A lot of people say this is quite obvious, but uh, what often happens is you'll have that friend who has disappeared for the last one or two or three years, and all of a sudden they're calling you up, they're messaging you, and they want to hang out because they've broken up with their girlfriend. Uh, that is a good strategy to do. A good strategy to uh, uh, keep yourself busy reach out to friends make sure you've got friends around um, see if a friend would want to uh, move in with you see if you could get a friend to um, uh, 
uh, rent out a room with you or see if you can uh, go and do some sport with a friend. Uh, exercise is another thing that will keep your mind off the breakup. Uh, it's going to be hard to do exercise, but if you can somehow mesh friends and exercise, maybe you can play some sort of a sport or hit the gym. That will also make you feel a little bit better, get the dopamine hits in, uh, but it's going to be hard. Uh, you're going to want to feel like just staying at home doing nothing but staring at the TV or watching YouTube um, like this. Uh, but as soon as you get out there it's going to be difficult but you start stretching you start you know 20 minutes in you start warming up you start feeling a little bit better next thing you know you're, you're out there doing a lot of exercise and feeling a lot better work more take some extra shifts now uh, your job might offer you weekend work as well maybe you can do some more shifts at work uh, if you were ever thinking about starting up a business but you were thinking it's going to be 14 hour days and I don't think I can do that now's your chance uh, this is an opportunity for you to throw yourself into some sort of entrepreneurial venture and start up a business 14 hour work days building a business from scratch with no clients and having to work for free and just putting your head down and dedicating yourself to something will keep your mind off her for at least long enough that you can get through the painful early period of the breakup. Uh, throwing yourself into work is one of the best strategies, definitely. So number one, always think, think about the positives. Uh, you don't want to be blaming her because You'll, you'll be inadvertently blaming yourself. That's one. Uh, you'll be blaming yourself for having making poor choices in women. Uh, let's not blame her. Let's not think about all the negatives. Let's not cloud all of this. and Oh, because then the victim mindset kicks in. Think about all the positives. Um, my ex-girlfriends and my, my latest girlfriend that I broke up with, I can only really think of the positives. She's, she's an angel. Um, I don't think she ever really did anything wrong. Two, try to avoid things that will remind you of her, like uh, uh, things that you guys used to do together, and also uh, avoid things that will trigger emotional responses. You don't you don't want to watch love stories, uh, TV series, listen to music that is some sort of a love song. You don't want anything emotional to be triggering you. You don't want to go down to the shops and someone's playing the piano or playing a violin and then you'll start uh, feeling sad. And three, throw yourself into some sort of a, a work, hobbies, friends, etc. Pick up some hobbies, pick up, uh, go meet, meet some more friends. Um, if you can mesh exercise and friends together and take some more shifts at work or start up a new entrepreneurial venture then you'll be uh, set if you can take these three tips mesh them all together you'll be doing quite well for the first say one two three months that it's going to take for you to get over her and the relationship might even take six months um, so this is an opportunity for you to do something else with your life and the bonus here is, this is the bonus tip, do you feel less? Like, do you feel like you're unworthy now? Do you feel uh, hurt, and but not only hurt, and you miss her more, more particularly, like, or do you just feel like you are worth less? Uh, you feel like she degraded you, like you're not good enough um, and that's why she rejected you or left you. And if that's the case, then it is okay for you to go out there and try to get a one night stand. Try and boost your, um, get your confidence back. Even just a one night stand with some random chubby one, chubby fatty or something, <laughs> uh, should be enough to get the confidence back make you feel a little bit more worthwhile 
Um, obviously, if a woman does that, it's going to damage her. Um, women after a breakup should, in fact, just do exercise, hang out with friends, focus on work, avoid love songs. But if they go out and have a few one-night stands, they're, they're going to do more long-term damage to themselves. Um, but men, on the other hand, mostly it's about you feeling worthless. Uh, and going out there and getting a one night stand would be something that would definitely boost your confidence. So, finally, if you have just gone through a breakup and you're struggling a little bit, go to my website and you want to, and you feel like going out there and getting that confidence back, you want to go and talk to some girls, let's just say you've had a divorce, let's just say it wasn't, wasn't your fault, she did something, she left you, you feel like you're worth a little bit less, coming out with me and learning cold approach um, bringing some new girls into your life uh, will definitely bring back that confidence bring back that spark and make you feel a little bit better about yourself um, I do have a lot of guys that have divorces and then reach out um, and this may this does them a world of good so top link in the description or or somewhere on this channel or one man's life mission.com check out the website just fill out the form and sign up to do some coaching and I'll see you there. See you guys in the next video.